Hello musicians. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to play Mason's Apron and we're going to go through all the different little technical challenges there are Mason's Apron to help you get set up so you can play it. So hang tight. The first half of Mason's Apron is it doesn't have a whole lot of technical challenges. Um, the first half is basically just running notes. So uh, when you play that part, you want to make sure that you're getting your tuning right um, and, uh, and your bowing. You want to make sure that you keep your bowing consistent. Uh, for example, you start on a down bow for this song all the time. So you, know, so you want to make sure that that first note is a down bow. You know, so you're, you'll, it will end up on the proper bow all the time. So keep your bows consistent. Um, now the uh, the other thing too is small bows. You don't want to be you know wallowing around big bows. Try to stay in the middle of the bow, and try to keep your bows uh, you know maybe um, for the running notes maybe two inches long. Okay, so that's basically it for the first half. You just need to learn to learn the notes, and and remember the key to fast playing is slow practicing. So take these uh, parts slow as you're practicing. Now the second half has a couple of technical challenges that you, that you need to be careful about. <clears throat> First of all, you see slurring in the second half, and slurring is when you play play more than one note with one bow. So the first three notes of this the second half are slurred. So. Now, there are some slurs, so be careful of those. And the way slurs are marked in music, it's usually a little curve, uh, uh, like a, a, a little curve that's over a couple of notes or under a couple of notes. Three notes, two notes, four notes, whatever. You, should, you can practice doing slurring with your scale. And be sure to watch the other video on, your, on the A scale for this song because it's part of your warm up and it's very important to make sure you have your scale under your fingers before you even try the song. So if you did a, a practice for your slurs with a scale, you could do two note slurs like this. And that will be a two note slur on the A scale. So you're two notes for every bow, like that. Now, uh, the other technical issue in this one is when you have to put more than, you have to cover more than, than one string at a time. Now just check this out with my left hand. You wanna make sure that, um, now, when I get to that part, you can actually see with my fingers that I'm actually have my first finger and my second finger on two separate strings. I'm covering an F sharp on my first finger on the E string, and I'm covering a C sharp on my A string. So, see, so I, I actually do that. So, if you watch from this angle, you'll see my first finger go off and on. You see, so if I try to take my fingers off and do that, it's going to be too much work. It's, it's much more effective to put my second finger down, have a nice arch so that I can play. I can play those two strings and have the open E sound with my second finger on. So, so you have to have a nice arch to your second finger and the tip of your finger on the string. And then my, my first finger can then go on and off on that F sharp when need be. And then as the song progresses, you'll see I do it again, another kind of arrangement. Now I got my third finger on. So now I got my third finger and my first finger on. My first finger is on the F sharp, on the E string, uh, this right here. And my third finger is on the A, on the D on the A string, which would give it this. So. So and my second finger then is going on and off on that G sharp right here, on the E string. So I'll just play it slowly with those two little patterns. Let's try that again with right notes. OK. 
Okay, so you want to get those get those fingers down and get those patterns nice and smooth. Um, so uh, the trick with that is to create good arches. Good arches with your fingers. Don't flatten your fingers down or anything like that. You want to make good arches so you can get your fingers around and you're not covering more than one string with one finger at a time. So be careful of that. Now with Mason's Apron, uh, there are a lot of notes and they go by nice and fast, so you really need to try to keep your speed down when you're practicing. You want to develop muscle memories in your fingers that will let you let your fingers remember where to go so you don't have too much to think about as you're doing it. If you find that when, you when you're playing a song it's kind of getting out of control, it's kind of outside your comfort zone, then what you should do is slow it down a lot and until the notes come to you very, very naturally. If I would be, if I was practicing this song, if I was learning it as a new song, I was practicing it, I'd be looking at this kind of speed. That kind of speed, nice and slow. And play, play at that speed. Play at that speed until you're nice and comfortable with it. Now, uh, I'm, I'm going to also play for you a slow version of this song so you can practice with the slow version and play along with me. So feel free to do that. And I also have another version of this one will be at full speed and you can play along with me on that one too. So we can try it together, a little bit of a jam. Okay, so um, be sure to check out the, uh, those uh, versions of the song that I'm gonna have for you on video. Be sure to check out the scales too, the A scale in this one, the warm up. It's very, very important. If your fingers are set up for the A scale and you got it nice and comfortable under your fingers, then playing a song in the key of A major will be that much easier. Okay, so check out all the videos in this series for this song. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Give a, any down the bottom here, give us a, a comment. If you got a suggestion or a question or something like that, put it in a comment and I'll help you out. And of course, subscribe so you can keep track of all the new songs, all the new tutorials, everything I'm putting up here for you. You can keep track of it. So be sure and subscribe. Good luck with the song and see you next time.